Welcome back to SmartHelping.com. It's a happy Friday. Um, I got a couple of couple of updates here, and I got a new template I'm going to do after this video. So uh, let's start with the update. So this is the inventory restocking. Again, one of the most popular uh, templates I have, mainly because of the inventory reordering forecast part of it. It's to predict um, your cash flow requirements and based on different um, lead times and inventory levels and sales, historical sales, and a whole bunch of things. So I've done two other templates for this, and they, all three of them, this one, the one I did before this, and the, which is mainly for a startup that doesn't have any inventory, but they're going to start at some point in the future. And then the original, which is the most generic version, um, which has all of the variables except for these new ones, minimum inventory level and payment terms. But besides that, the original just functions with these variables and it starts right off the bat on the first day of the uh, forecast. Um, also on the original, it doesn't allow you to change the, the forecast month. So here on the forecast, it always has to be the first of the year, which if you were doing a real forecast, you might just say, okay, this month one through 12, and you could define it as whatever you want, just so you know what it is. Um, but that was another limiting factor on the original. So the reason why we're doing a third update here is that it has all of the new logic with the ability to enter a minimum inventory level, as well as payment terms in case, you know, if you don't have to actually send the cash out to pay your vendor for a certain amount of time, since you bought it, like they could have terms on uh, like 60 days, 30 days, 90 days, whatever, or it could be instant. In that case, you could just put, you know, one in here. And that's another factor that would affect when you have to actually send cash out, which is the purpose of the template to figure out how much cash you need for inventory in the next 12 months. So that was the main update to this. And what we've done that's different than, and that was the same update was, that was under version two, but the difference now is that you can have a starting inventory level. The update in the second one was did not have any starting inventory. It assumed you your first purchase was gonna be the first purchase of inventory. So it needed to start on a day after, um, sometime in the future possibly. So that was um, a factor that not, that really, only applies to startups, it doesn't apply to ongoing businesses. And I realize a lot of ongoing businesses want to use this and therefore they need a way to enter their starting inventory. And then once the forecast starts, they're gonna pull off of that based on all these other variables. So, this has been updated. You can see an inventory, I put them all at 250. It starts going down based on your average sales uh, per day, which is based on historical forecasts. And then your projected future sales based on historical sales. That's how the forecast is generating. And then all of that is culminating into a count of inventory. As soon as it hits below the inventory level that we're defined, that will trigger a reorder. And that will trigger a reorder sometime in the past on a date that equals um, the lead time so that the inventory gets there whenever the forecast is saying you're going to hit your minimum levels and therefore you never go below your minimum and you know when you got to order and how much money that's going to be in each of the next 12 months. So there's a bunch of very advanced logic to figure that out. Some of the best logic I've ever made. It's been used by, well, what I got 50 or 60 people have bought this and I've got even more that have just done modifications based on this that I've worked with. So, it's been super, super popular and useful. So that's why I'm um, further refining it for more uses because I think it's gonna be used. Um, so that's the update on this. Again, when you go to purchase this um, right from smarthelping.com, all you have to do is just, you buy one of, uh, let's see. Let me go here. So, and I got it in my top 10 sales. So it's gonna be the third one. So when you go and buy it here, it's only $45. You'll get the original, 
the updated version that's for startups as well as this third version that I just did which is basically the hybrid between one and two to bridge the gap so I literally can't think of any more uh, use cases that like I feel like that would fit nearly 90% of um, anybody trying to use this so that is the first thing I got for you I will see you in a second I'm gonna do another video of an actual new financial model um, and we'll get into that on that one. Alrighty, take it easy.